Are these individuals the merchandise? They are... Okay. Hmm, let's see. Too tall, too short, too skinny, too fat. That one's teeth are crooked. And that one's just... ugly. Ugh. Is this really the best you slavers have to offer someone like me? I'll have you know I'll not be disrespected like this. Showing me worthless merchandise like this? I can hardly believe the audacity. Do you have any idea who I am? I am Gabrielle von Fischer. I am one of the most prominent and wealthy patrons that you ever had in your establishment. I should have you flayed alive for this insult. Hmm? Wait. Actually, now that I get a better look, that one right there looks... All right. Hmm. Tell that one to get closer. I want a better look. Well? Why is the merchandise not listening? Have you not disciplined any disobedience before? Well, clearly you haven't, otherwise the merchandise would have come when called. Well, whatever the case may be now, would be a perfect time to do so. Just don't leave any marks. I'll be damned if I buy any damaged goods. Now, come here. See? Was that so difficult? If you had done what you were told the first time, you wouldn't have been punished. Next time, you better just do what you were told without a word. And maybe next time, if you do what you're supposed to, I may give you a treat. <laughs> but anyway, let me get a good look at you. Hmm. Hmm. I like the eyes and the cheekbones. Don't really like the hair, however. Seems a bit too dark and unkempt. But that can be fixed. Also, do you work out? You seem kind of fit, although it's hard to tell with all those clothes. Well, I'm waiting. <sighs> you look confused. Are you soft in the head or what? I said it's hard to tell with all those clothes you're wearing. You still look confused. I'm telling you to strip. Completely. I don't care that you're shy and you're in a room filled with people. You heard me. <sighs> the merchandise is staring at me like a scared little puppy. Administer punishment, please. Well? There we go now. Was that so difficult? Now let's see what I'm working with. Hmm... And turn around. Turn around again. It's exactly what I thought you do seem to be in good shape. Your skin looks nice and soft. Your arms are lovely. Even your vulgar bits are cute. In a grotesque kind of way. By the way... Is it cold in here? <laughs> hmm. I think I'd take this one. How much? Oh, that all? One thousand American dollars? Did you hear that, doggy? You apparently aren't worth very much. <laughs> what? What's wrong with you? You want to put your clothes back on? 
What other nonsense? Why would I buy a petty thing and then cover the best parts up? <laughs> oh. If you only knew what I had planned for you. <laughs> I'm thinking of keeping you primarily in a small room for the rest of your days. Or until I get bored. Which will probably be the same day, of course. <laughs> You'll be chained up, of course. Don't want you wandering off by yourself, do we? Oh, but don't worry. You won't be too lonely for long periods. I'll come visit whenever certain needs of mine need to get taken care of. That or when I'm extremely bored and want to hurt something something so defenseless. God, I love to violate and mutilate something defenseless. There's nothing like destroying something beautiful with filth and violence. Ah, uh, but enough talk. Come on, little doggy. We're gonna have a lot of fun together. <laughs> If you liked the video, please leave a like, a comment, share the video, and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And if you would like, please consider donating to the channel's Patreon. Link in the description. If you don't do any of that, I'm going to have to schedule some time where we can have a nice little private chat. With a crowbar. See you guys next time. Ha, 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 ha.